Mathematicians, we are back for a new strategy, a normal week. Um, you guys did well at the problem solving. I was excited to see how you guys worked together and figured out some strategies. And remember those strategies because they're going to be used in future work whenever you have any problem solving. Guess and check, make a table, draw a diagram, solve a simple problem. All of those ones are going to be good. Now, let me show you this for this week's strategy. strategy for this week mathematicians is to chop it up and let me show you exactly what that means we're using it for division and na9 is our unit and when I say chop it up I mean into place value place value isn't something we talk about very much but it's very important I'm gonna put it in bold Oop, hit the wrong key Oop, there we go into place value for example if we have the number 643, the six here is not just a six because it's there. Anything in this spot where the six is, let me try to move them underneath, that's pretty good. Any number in this spot here, wherever the six is, is gonna be hundreds. That's what place value means. Anything here is gonna be tens. And anything here is gonna be units. So even if the six, um, even if other numbers come after the six, like a four or five, whatever, those are not hundreds because of where the six is, that is always hundreds. That's what the place value means. The value from its place. So this three is a three here. 
But if the three were over here, it would not just be a single three, it would be 300. And if it was here, it would be 3 tens, 30. So there you go. We're going to chop numbers up into their place of value. Let's start with something in the sipping work, which we're all starting with as a good warm up. 22. What they do here is they chop it up into 20 and 2. Um, just like we could for that example, e.g. 22 equals, you can chop that up into a 20 and a 2 because they go together to make 22. Hope that makes sense. Even though there's a 2 in both of the places, one is worth 20 because it's in this place, one is worth 2 because it's in that place. That's what place value means. Now, here's how we actually use it for division. And I use this strategy all the time uh, when I'm shopping, when I'm trying to figure out distances or whatever. This is my division strategy. It lets you do it in your, in your brain, which is the best place to do maths because that's where we use it a lot. Now, um, if we wanted to work out 22 divided by 2, which is what this question is, here's how you can do it in your head. You're going to chop it up like a fruit ninja, gonna chop it up into place value 20 and two. Then what we're gonna do is divide both of those numbers, ah, ah, divide both of those numbers by two. This is the one that we're dividing by. So we're gonna divide them both by two. If we do that, 20 divided by two is 10, and then we do two divided by two is one. So the answer is 11. That's a pretty straightforward example to start us off. Maybe a little bit confusing because of all the twos. Let's try one without all the twos. E.g. 36 divided by, uh, yeah, 88 divided by four, let's do that. 88 divided by four. First step, we chop it up into its place value. This is an eight just by itself because it's in the units place. And this is an 80 because it's in the tens place. So 80 plus eight. Then we're gonna divide them each by four. This is called the uh, divisor. I think they use that in here. Do they say divisor? No, they don't say divisor. Okay, they might in the next one. Where do they say it? Oh, here we go, okay. The dividend is this bigger number that's being split up, and the divisor is the small number that's dividing it up. So we're gonna divide it by the divisor. Each of them, whoops, each of them is gonna be divided by the divisor. So all we're doing here five is splitting this bigger number into smaller numbers that are a bit easier to work with. And because they add up to the same thing, Dividing all of this by four is the same as dividing the added number, added together number by four as well. So it's all the same, this all equals the same. Um, okay, so we do 80 divided by four, and that gives us 20, obviously. And then eight divided by four gives us two, so we know our answer is 22. There we go, year five, that's how we do it. You split the number up into its place value, 80 plus eight, divide them both, and then work out those little mini division um, equations and put it back together again. So it's like we're chopping it up to explode it and then bring it back together once we've divided. Okay, now this is all nice and neat, year five, last thing I'll say, this is all nice and neat for when we are doing numbers that easily divide this divisor goes easily into 36 because three and six are in the three times table. But tomorrow, come back for the video because you're gonna to need to know how to do it when we split up a bigger number, the dividend, 640 and seven. And the two goes into 600, nice and neat, same with the 40, but the two it doesn't. And there's a specific way that we're gonna do that. So come back tomorrow for that strategy. Some people didn't come back for the second video strategy the other week and then they suffered in the tracking because they missed the harder strategy. The second strategy video is usually the trickier one. So that's most important that you come. They're both most important because you need to know how to start and you need to, need to know how to be more advanced. 
So there you go, you five. Um, check out the sipping work, and I will see you later. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye.